When I was preparing for confirmation, the first thing our priest, the canon Tom Hotchkiss, told all of us was that this was something that our parents couldn't make us do. That if we were going to go through confirmation, we should do it not because somebody was telling us to do it, but because we wanted to. He even offered to go and talk to our parents and, and say to them, if we didn't want to go through this, that he would go and talk to them and, and help us through that and, and tell them why. I took Kenan Hoshius's words to heart. When he said that, I really tried to do the work to make that preparation my own, to make my confirmation my own. And it was an important moment for me. It was an important moment in my faith because it was then that I started to take church more seriously, which ended up leading me to where I am today. But it was that moment that I really made my faith, made my relationship with God my own. Not anyone else's, simply my own. In so much of our lives, so much becomes a matter of what we should do, or at least what we think we're supposed to be doing. Our relationship with God is not one of those things. It's not just something that we're supposed to do because somebody told us to do it. Our relationship with God is instead what Canon Hotchkiss was trying to form in us. That it's something that we shouldn't look at as a duty, as a supposed to, but instead a desire for ourselves, a deep longing inside our own souls. A relationship with Christ should be something that gives us joy, that comfort and joy that we hear of tonight, that we sing about tonight. And it's what we see in the shepherds themselves, in their own approach, as they come closer to God in this moment of the nativity. Now, we see the shepherds at the beginning. They're minding their own business. They're living out of the town on their own, just taking care of their sheep, doing their job. That's all they're focused on. There's, there's nothing else that, that they're, they're not trying to do anything else, just focusing on their life and their work. And it's in this moment that, bang, this angel comes in and gives, up, gives them this great news, this news that Jesus is being born, that the Christ, the Messiah, is there in this town of Bethlehem that all these things that have been prophesied for all these years are finally coming to pass, and the Savior in the world is finally here among us, the Savior of the entire world. There's nothing else that the angels say. There's no call for the shepherds to do anything. They're simply told the news, the news of what's happened. Yet it's the shepherds themselves who on hearing this news have this curiosity that rises in them. They say to one another, let's go see what's just happened. Let's go check it out. Let's go see what this news the angel has given us is really all about. No one else is telling them what to do. Their desire to go see Jesus, their desire for this deeper connection with God comes from themselves, comes from their own curiosity. 
So we're told that the shepherds leave this place where they've been. They leave the place where they've been working. And they go into town, a place that they probably wouldn't have gone that often, just to see Jesus, just to see Jesus there. Presumably, the shepherds took their sheep with them. We certainly see that in the vast majority of our depictions, like our own depiction here of the nativity scene. But we're not told that. Their work isn't the priority for them anymore. The priority now is seeing Jesus, is having that experience that the angel told them about. My hope is that the same desire that the shepherds had, the same desire for closeness with God, the same desire to see Jesus, to experience Jesus, is something you all have too. And that's whether you're here tonight, you're here every Sunday, even if you pop in for a weekday. My hope is you desire to be closer to God. My hope is that you desire to be here with us worshiping all together. That's what the shepherds were desiring. This closeness with God, this closeness with Jesus. And I hope that's the same desire you have too. I hope you want to be closer to God like the shepherds. I hope you want to take the time to be here to do that. And if your desire is to have that closer relationship with God, please know that your church family here is ready and willing to help. I am ready and willing to help. Just come and ask. Happy to help as you build that relationship with God throughout your entire lives. As you encounter the Christ child, like the shepherds did, all those years ago. The shepherds had a deep desire to witness our Lord. I hope that same desire is the one that you have now and always.